Hey everybody, this lesson is data distribution with dot plot and outliers. Okay, so uh, a dot plot or a line plot is a way to represent data that uses a number line with X's, we're going to use X's on this, or dots above it, or a sim or a, some other kind of symbol uh, that shows the frequency. So here's an example, you guys, we're going to make a dot plot of the data, 25, 30, all these numbers right here, okay? So we're going to make a number line right here um, uh, that fits this data. So I see some numbers that are in the 20s, 30s, 40s, all the way up to 60 right there, okay? So here's it. And then so um, all graphs, you guys, all graphs need some kind of title. So this, um, these numbers came from the salary of a certain company right here. So these are the salary of the employees right here in thousands of dollars. Okay, so $20,000, $30,000, $40,000. Okay, so here's a number line that represents this data. And notice there's a title right here. And I took out the word problem, but that was the word problem that talked about the salary right there, okay? Just to save some time. All right, so there's the 25 right there. Now, it's called a dot plot because a lot of times they just put a dot right here to represent that. But this book uh, is choosing X's, so I'm going to be consistent with our textbook right here. But you can put a dot right there instead of an X, okay? And then we'll put a dot for a 30 right above the 30 right there. And then we got a, uh, a few 35, so three X's are going to go right there. Did I say dot X's? Okay, and then there's the 40s right there. There's the 45s. There's that 150 and that 160 right there, okay? That is called a dot plot right there. Okay, so an outlier is a value in the data set uh, that's either uh, too big or too small uh, than most of the other data inside the outlier. And so how do we calculate to whether if it's an outlier or not? Just because it looks like one, it might not be one. So they had to make up some rules, and this is the rules how you calculate it. First, you've got to find the IQR. So remember from the last lesson, that's quartile 3 minus quartile 1, okay? And then we multiply that IQR times 1.5. And then we take that number right there, and if that data is is uh, you take that number and subtract it from quartile one and if it's small if you have any pieces that are smaller than that it's an outlier or you take this IQR times 1.5 and you add it to quartile three and if any of them are beyond it to the right of quartile three plus this number then it's also an outlier okay so let's uh, suppose that that list of salaries from uh, uh, that section A that we did that dot plot on is expanded and it includes the owner's salary and he makes $150,000. So now list the salaries on a uh, dot plot and then check to see if that number is an outlier. Okay, so here's those numbers including the, the owner, 150,000 right there. Okay, so now we got to uh, stretch out this number line. It's not only going from 20 all the way up to 60, it has to go all the way up to 150. So we, I chose to go to 160 right here. Okay, so this is in salary of thousands of dollars. So here they all are right there. There's the dot plot that we did from before. We should call it an X plot, but it's a dot plot right there. But wait, there's the, the owners. Now, doesn't that look like an outlier right there? It doesn't look like it's abnormally way out there right there. It's like the Bill Gates of salaries. Well, it's actually Bill Gates is way off this chart through my window over there. All right, so now um, uh, we got to find uh, to see if it's an outlier. So let's calculate it. There's the median right there, the middle number, and the quartiles are uh, quartile one and quartile three. So then, um, so we average these two because there's two numbers in the middle and these two numbers are the same. Okay, so then we find the IQR is quartile 3 minus quartile 1 and then we multiply that times 1.5. Okay, so quartile 3 minus quartile 1 times 1.5. Okay, so this 18.75. Well, we want to see, we take this off of quartile 3 and are there any numbers below that? And then we add this number to quartile, I'm sorry, quartile 1. We go to the left, 18.75, and we go to the right, so add 18.75. If any numbers are beyond either one of those, uh, then they're considered an outlier. So here it is below quartile 1. So quartile 1 minus that 18.75 is 16.75, okay? There are no numbers that are below that. The smallest number is 25. So there's there's no outliers on this end over here. All right, now we're going to take 18.75, uh, this number right here, IQR times 1.5, and we add it to quartile 3. Okay, so when we add it to quartile 3, so here's quartile 3 plus that number, is 66.25 and since 150 150 is above this upper cutoff right here then we can consider that guy an outlier right there okay 
So comparing data distribution. So um, when we see dot plots that look like this, this is skewed to the left. So if you have it, it kind of flares off towards the left over here, it's skewed to the left. And if it's um, a nice bell-shaped curve, if you heard of a nice bell-shaped curve, if it makes a nice bell-shaped curve, if it's symmetrical, the same is on the left is the same as on the right. It's called symmetrical, and there's one that's skewed to the right. Okay, if it's skewed to the left, it means more than half uh, half the numbers are greater than the mean. So you got a bunch of them that are greater than the mean. So it's it's skewed to the left, which means we got uh, a few small numbers over here, and more than half is greater than the mean. If it's symmetrical, that means that there uh, the numbers are evenly distributed about the mean, and if it's skewed to the right then more than half the numbers are less than the mean, okay? All right, so for each data set, make a dot plot and determine the type of distribution. So is it which way is it skewed? Then explain the, what the distribution means for each. All right, so here we have uh, uh, the number of miles run by members of two track teams during a day. So uh, track team A has two people that ran three miles, three people that ran 3.5, and so on, okay? All right, so we're going to make a dot plot of both of those. All right, so there's a dot plot of both of those, and so we uh, dot plot those. Now see how this one's nice and symmetrical? There's four, there's four, there's three here, there's three here, there's two here, there's two here. This one, um, we got more over here, so this one is skewed to the left right there, okay? So this, this one over here is uh, symmetrical. This means that the distances run are evenly distributed by the mean of team A right here, and then over here, this is skewed left. So if it's skewed left, the data uh, means that more than half the team members ran a distance that's greater than the mean right here, whatever that mean is right there, and, and uh, uh, that's all that means. So here uh, the table shows the number of days over the course of a month that the specific number of apples that were sold by each grocery store. So here, grocery store A, they had one day where they sold uh, zero apples. Here they had four days where they sold 50 apples. Here they had eight days where they sold 100 apples and so on. So we're going to make a dot plot of both of those right here. So the number of apples sold, and so right here this would be the um, how many days that it sold. So there was eight days here, there was eight days here. All right, so and then over here was four, over here was four, and then one singleton and one singleton. This guy is nice and symmetrical. This one is not. More of them are on the left, so this one would be skewed to the right, if that's what that is right there, okay? So uh, this distribution in grocery store A is symmetrical. It just means that the number of apples sold each day is evenly distributed about the mean. Over on this one, it's uh, skewed to the right, which just means the apple sold each day is unevenly distributed, and um, uh, they had more apples that were uh, sold uh, that was less than the actual mean on that one right there. I didn't say that on that. Okay, so here are dot plots for test scores from two different schools. Okay, school A uh, shows uh, some nice symmetrical uh, distribution, which just means that the mean of the test scores were evenly distributed about the mean. Okay, school B is uh, skewed to the left, or left skewed, and it just means that more than half of the class received test scores that was above the mean. Okay. All right, you guys, yeah, I'm going to let you guys try that, and that would be your assignment in fear in my class. Take care.